Hey there, it's Dr. K. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to add and subtract numbers with different radicals. So let's write down one of these expressions. For example, let's do an expression like 2 square root of 28 minus square root of 7. So here we're subtracting two numbers and they have different radicals. We have a radical of 28 and a radical of 27. Now the way that we can simplify this is by making sure that the radicals are all the way simplified. So this would actually be equal to 2 times the radical of 4 times 7. We know that 4 can be simplified and taken out of the radical. I'm going to do that. And this is still minus square root of 7. So when we take 2 outside of this expression, it's going to become 2 times the square root of 4, which is 2, square root of 7 minus square root of 7. So to simplify this, we realize that it's 4 square root of 7 minus square root of 7. The way to do that is to subtract 4 minus 1. The exponent in front here is 1. It's 1 times the square root of 7. So what that becomes is 4 minus 1 times square root of 7, which simplifies to 3 radical 7. Okay, so that's one example of how to subtract numbers with different radicals. Let's do another number where we add them. Let's do 3 square root of 27 plus square root of 3. So once again, this expression isn't all the way simplified, so let's do that. We're going to take 27 and simplify it further. To simplify it, we realize that this can become 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 plus radical 3. So within the radical sign, we have 3, which is multiplied by itself. We're going to take it outside. And this becomes 3 times 3, or 9, times the radical 3 plus square root of 3. We're going to further reduce this to 9 radical 3 plus radical 3. So we're going to add the 9 and the 1 in front of the radical 3. And the answer is 10 radical 3. There you go. That's how you add and subtract numbers with different radicals. Now, I urge you to come back for more and learn more about radicals. I'm Dr. K. Thanks for watching.